Hi, I'm Alistair Stevenson, reporting for v3.co.uk, and today I'm reviewing the Orange San Diego. San Diego is the latest in Orange's line of own run smartphones, building on the legacy set by the San Francisco and Monte Carlo devices. You'll notice immediately that it has a very iPhone-like look, containing a metal rim and a plastic back. Despite its plastic back, we found that it was incredibly sturdy and are fairly confident that the device could take the axe of a few accidental drops or spills and still remain unscathed. The device packs a 4 inch 600 by 1024 resolution screen and measures in at 123 by 63 by 9.9 millimeters. Weighing only 117 grams, we have to say that the device is incredibly comfortable in hand, letting you get a fairly decent grip on it. You'll also notice from the back that it has a unique selling point in Europe an Intel chip. San Diego is the only Android smartphone on market currently running an Intel processor featuring a 1.6 GHz Intel single core unit. Intel claims that the, that the core processor is tailor made for Android and should match most mid tier smartphones, even ones packing dual core. We have to say we agree with Intel's claims having played with it. The unit is great for web browsing, finding web loading websites in a matter of seconds and regularly matching dual core handsets performance. You see here, just getting V3 up, instant. Fantastic. Great value for a £200 pay and go smartphone. One thing you'll notice as well, which is a little bit disappointing, is that the San Diego is running Android 2.3, Gingerbread, which is now fairly old and still a little clunky to use. Luckily, Orange has promised Ice Cream Cat Sandwich will be coming soon, though they haven't given us an exact date yet. One slight annoyance you'll see as well is that Orange, like Monte Carlo in San Francisco, has loaded its custom widgets and apps onto it, many of which are uninstallable. While they're not too much of an annoyance and are generally easy to get out of sight, they do take up a lot of the phone's storage, meaning that of the 16 inter gig internal heart storage, you'll only be able to use 10.6 out of the box. This is a little bit of a problem, considering the unit doesn't have a micro SD card slot, so you can't upgrade its storage. Still, 16 gigs is generally enough for normal use. Another thing you'll notice is that the device this screen is incredibly bright for £200. We're actually impressed how crisp and nice it is to look at with the only problem we have being that at times the viewing angles can be slightly less than other devices, meaning that if you're viewing it at an angle or watching a video over from the side, it can sometimes be a frustra frustrating. The only other real noise though that we have is its camera. The device packs an 8 megapixel rear-facing camera, which to be honest, isn't worth using. Though it has a shutter button which has a, a, a focus feature, with one click for focus, two for taking a shot. The device regularly struggles to focus, focus properly. It takes several clicks before it will actually recognize and get the right focus for shot. And even then, shots can often come out blurry and with poor color balance. In short, if you want a great camera phone, you want to go elsewhere. Overall though, despite the bad camera, we're really pleased with the San Diego, thinking it's great value for money. Like San, San Francisco and Monte Carlo before it, Orange has done something different here, it's offering great value for my, uh, and great performance at a budget. For £200, we would really recommend this device. It's, in fact, we, right, given the Intel chip, it, we would say this is probably one of the best choices for any avid mobile web surfer on, the go, on a budget. I'm Alistair Stevenson, thanks for watching.